of pricing from 1960 through to 2020 and where it's expected to go. These are just Melbourne and Sydney house prices. You can see there in the grand scheme of things, Melbourne's a little bit down, but it'll, it'll pick up. Um, Sydney's, um, Sydney's pushing it up there a bit, so we're starting to see some significant rises right across the board there. When you start to look at what people um, have done, when you start to really think about, you know, we spoke before about inspiration. Listen to this, these guys' stories. They left Melbourne in February 2012. Their son signed them up for my boot camp. By the time they, they left Melbourne and were driving across the Nullarbor to Perth when their son signed them up to do my boot camp. He said, hey, guess what I did, mum and dad? That's the cheeky son there behind. Their name is Des and Shona. Des is illiterate. He cannot read and write. And he wants me to tell people that because he doesn't want anyone to have an excuse of, oh, I'm not good enough. They started with $110,000. They didn't have a job. For three weeks, they sat down with my home study program and treated it like school. From nine o'clock to five o'clock, they studied. They put it on the television, they studied it, they went through the books, they talked about it, they looked at things, they did exercise, they sat up there the next day. For three weeks consistently, that's all they did because they didn't have a job. At the end of it, they decided, well, I think this is all right. I think we'll keep the product. I think we'll, I think we'll, we'll do this says Des to Shona. That's in February last year. I ran into them in August of last year. Now I was back in Perth and they came up to me and they sort of said, well, we thought we'd better tell you what we've done. They have not been to a boot camp yet. Okay, this is just from the home study program. They came, they were going to go to the boot camp, I think in September. So in August of that year, they had gone from $110,000 in their back pocket because they sold their home in, in Melbourne and they had $110,000 to start with. They had a passive income by August of $105,000. And then by the time um, I flew them actually across to my farm in January of this year just to, to capture their story, they'd gone from $105,000 through to $150,000 in the space of a year and their starting capital was $110,000. Now one of their first properties cost them $30,000. They went bush, they, went, they, they, they worked hard, they got their whole family involved, but they've now created $150,000 at that point in time. The deals that they had on the table at, at, in January of that year, upon completion, which should be now, passive income of $249,000. And they've made their equity grow to over a million dollars in a little over a year. So don't you dare give me your excuse. You know, they didn't start with much. He can't even read and write. 